Today I'm going to show you how to wire an IEC motor starter. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about IEC motor starters. Now, motor starters, you know, we come in, we have two different types. We have a NEMA and we have IEC. Those are the two most common that we have. I'll show you how to wire a NEMA motor starter in another video. Today we're going to just focus on the IEC. Now, why do we use the IEC? Well, to be quite honest with you, you can see that the IEC is much more compact. You know, NEMA is much, much more bigger. And if you Google other videos, you know, or look up on YouTube other videos, you'll see that the motor starters are quite big. These here do pretty much the same thing. And we're gonna, we're gonna go over these today. So what do I need to know? Well, what I need to know is how to wire them we're gonna go over the different components. Now looking at the IEC motor starter, okay, on the top here is gonna be what we call our line, and our bottom here is what's gonna be called our load. So the power coming in, the three-phase power coming into our motor starter will come in on the top three legs, okay? In the front here, don't worry about the front yet. In the bottom here will be the load. This will be going out to our motor. We won't be hooking up this today to a motor. We'll do that in another video. What we're trying to figure out is how do we wire the motor starter? Well, one of the things that we have to remember, just like everything else is, a motor starter has a coil in it, and that coil pulls in when we energize, when we give it power. So when we energize it, it pulls it in. Now, the nice thing with the IEC is it has built-in normally open and normally closed contacts. Now, these normally open and normally closed contacts, there's only one normally open and one normally closed. So we only have two sets of contacts that we're dealing with. One of the advantages that we have is we can hook up lights to this, but we also are gonna have what we call A1 and A2, which is kind of like our two and our seven, and also our two and our 10 when we're dealing with uh, an A pin or an 11 pin relay. So, you know, for this type, we're gonna be dealing with A1 and A2. Now there's other control relays out there that also use A1 and A2. They're also um, an IEC brand. Um, basically what you're gonna end up doing is, you know, eventually I'll put out another video with an IEC uh, control relay. If you haven't seen my control relay, my square D type, uh, click the link above and, and watch that one. That'll give you a little bit of an idea on how the coil works. But what we're gonna focus on today is how we hook this up, okay? So let's get back to this. When we look at the front, you can see we have the front three screws. And on these screws, here and here is our A1 and our A2, meaning our hot and our neutral can go here, and that is basically what's gonna be pulling in our power. This is a 120 volt coil, so we'll put 120 volts here. If there was 24 volts, this would be a 24 volt coil. Again, make sure you remember what the control voltage is so that you install the right type of device. Because if you put 120 volts to a 24 volt coil, it's not gonna be good. Look at this here. The middle pair, again, is like our switch. That is gonna be our normally closed. And our out brand here, which is completely opposite of our A1 and A2 coil, that's gonna be our normally open. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna hook up the coil, okay? We're gonna hook up normally open and normally close, which is gonna be our green light and our red light. We're gonna hook up this control relay and we're gonna pull it in and we're gonna turn our lights on and off so that you can see how it works. It's important you guys understand that these instructional videos are meant for students who have never wired anything, okay? So I try to keep this very basic and very simple. But even if you've been out in the field for a long time and you haven't done this in school or you haven't done it for a long time, these videos are, I'm trying to give you the informative brand of this. So basically what we did in our other video, we wired a start stop station, which the link is up here. Go and watch that start stop if you don't know how to wire that part of it. Because today what we're going to do is I'm just going to hook up the motor, motor starter so that I can show you where the connection points are. On the, real, uh, on the motor starter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this IEC. Now, the nice thing with the IEC is we're gonna use this bar here, which is called DIN rail. 
DIN rail is great because we can add anything. We can add um, 8 pin, 11 pin relays. We can add uh, IEC control uh, relays. We can add motor starters. We can add forward and reversing motor starters, which I'll be showing in another, another video. So basically, what do we do? On the back here, you can see there's a little bit of, of a groove here, okay? And basically, all we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to pull down on the DIN rail, slide it in, push it up, and the little spring in here will hold it in place. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up our control relay. Okay, and what we're going to do is that control relay is going to be A1 and A2. We're going to start with the neutral first. I like to use A2 as my neutral. It just kind of helps me kind of comprehend what I'm doing. Now let's hook up A2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up A1, which is our power coming off of a start button. Now, just like everything else too, I've got to get my power to my normally open and my normally closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. Okay, so we have, we have our power coming in to our normally open, which is then jumped over to our normally closed here, which is then feeding the top portion. Now, I'm going to operate my lights so that you can see that it's operating and it's not operating, or it's opening and closing. The bottom section here, my normally open, I had connected my 
green wire, my green light to it. Down here, I connected my red light to it. Okay? This little wire here is my holding circuit, which is jumped from here back up to A1, because remember, I need to have that power to hold that relay in. Okay? My neutral is connected. My power or my initiation is coming from one side of my green button. Again, if you haven't already watched my start stop video on how to wire the start stop, please go watch that video. It should be in a card above. Let's see if it works. Okay. So now I've got the power on. You can see that my red light is on, okay, telling me that my power is there, meaning my motor starter is ready to go. I press my green button. You can see my red light went off and my green light is now on, meaning that my motor starter now was pulled in. So if I had a motor connected to this thing, the motor would be spinning. I press stop, green light goes off, red light goes on, letting me know that now I'm ready to go. You just have to remember with a motor starter, all you have to remember is I gotta feed the coil, I gotta know what my control voltage is. This one here has auxiliary contacts on it, so you're using the auxiliary contacts to control lights or different devices, maybe a control relay. So your auxiliary contacts can be used for a multitude of different things. Again, your motor starter, you just have to make sure you got the right motor starter for the right application. For the most part, my suggestion is you're gonna find it on a drawing, so don't worry too much about that. At the same time, Motor starters are relatively easy to install. I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Uh, again, it's always good to hear from you, so if you want, leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, we're, we're on the brink of hitting 2,000 subscribers. This channel is growing very, very fast. I really appreciate every one of you guys watching my videos. It is, I am very appreciative that you guys watch my videos. As always, have a great day and be safe.